Good morning, everyone. I'm Christine, and this is Christine Sews A Lot. I wanted to pop on really quick this morning before work to show you my latest make. This is the Jackson Pullover by Helen's Closet. I love this pattern. I use this French Terry from Minerva. I purchased it recently during one of their sales. It's not very timely for me because just a little more than a week ago, we had a hard freeze here, colder weather than my father says he has seen in more than 49 years. That's a long time. It was very cold. Today, I have layered it with this t-shirt only because it's too hot to wear this. And as soon as I finish filming, I'm gonna take it off. I walked Martin today in my t-shirt and it's a little bit warm. Not complaining. I do know that weather will return, so I'm going to continue sewing the cozy clothes. Last night, I started work on altering my pattern for the women's Hudson pants so that I could make them higher rise. And I'm excited that I'm soon going to be sewing my first pair of Hudson pants for me. You would think after 15 pairs of Hudson pants, sewing some for myself is definitely past due. When I first ordered this fabric, I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was interesting and different and would be eye-catching. I ordered three and a half meters and I think I was thinking of making a dress from this, either a billy or the South Bank by Nina Lee and I ended up making the Jackson pullover because I'm kind of in love with this pattern at the moment. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of the fabric. I have about two and a half yards left over. The Jackson pullover is not a fabric hungry pattern and I think I could size down a little bit. I'm going to have to take a look at the pattern. I did make a little bit of an error in sewing this up. When I was surging my sleeve and down the side of the top, I had the seam allowance in mind from the previous garment I had surged and I took a centimeter and a half seam allowance and this one has a one centimeter or three eighth inch seam allowance and I thought, oh, I don't know what I've just done. <laughs> and so one, one sleeve is incorrect and the other is correct. And I like the trimmer fit of, I believe it's my right sleeve. It's such a small amount, you couldn't tell. And I think I would like to take just a little bit off through the body and I may want to take some length out. I'm going to give it some thought. I'm going to insert a photo you, so you can see the fit here. It's supposed to have a little bit of a blouson effect uh, with the waistband bringing it in a little bit. But this is drafted for someone who's 5'6". I'm 5'4 in a little bit. And I'm thinking maybe I might want to take out half an inch because if I pull the sweater all the way down, it goes down to my full hip, and that's more than I need for reaching. I do not really care for a crop sweatshirt with jeans to wear if I'm gonna reach. It's gonna expose my midriff, one. That's not something I wanna highlight, and two, that's cold. <laughs> So I'm going to look at the pattern and see if I need to tweak it a little bit, but I do love the Jackson pullover. I have a very busy week ahead of me, so it'll be next week before I put out a video on the review of my Make 9 and my sewing plans for 2023. I have been enjoying watching other sewing vloggers videos on their sewing plans. And this morning I was watching Izzy from Dizzy Quilts and Sews and 
I was really inspired. <laughs> Izzy, I love your plan going forward. So I'm gonna link her channel below, but go ahead and check out her plans video that she released today. I think it's very thoughtful. She is planning to each month either create a new outfit or consciously go into her closet look at the orphan clothes that she's made that don't really match anything and sew something that will make that into an outfit and i think that's a brilliant idea i'm going to borrow that and you will hear about that in my plans coming up so i'm busy this week because today we're taking inventory at the store and it is going to feel like work today we were doing inventory last week some and I came home just aching. So I'm going to take a preemptive Advil before I go into work today, but it's gonna be a full day of inventory. I'm really kind of hoping it will be a shorter day that with all hands on deck, we can finish before five, but we'll see. I really would like to have a little sewing time. Then, Wednesday through Saturday, we're going to be doing staff training. We're going to be doing some training on all the sewing machines. I want to be able to help customers better than I can right now and having a deeper knowledge of the Baby Lock line of sewing machines will help that. And not going to lie, playing on sewing machines for several days for work is not the hardest day work. So I have a busy day. I've taken Martin for a walk. I have started some bean and kale soup, which is cooling on the stove. And I have a few things I need to do before I head off to work. Let me know what you're working on and I will see you later. Bye.